Yes, indeed, YouTube. It is your guy, 74 Midwest Base, and we are back. Recently, I made a video showing these subs, the Sending Audio Chaos 12s, flexing, and I had a, a bunch of comments on the video saying that the subs were out of phase and that they looked out of phase, and I totally agree. The subs did look out of phase. You know, that can be due to many different reasons such as the camera lagging, the angle, you know, the magnetic force distorting the camera, all sorts of things. But that led me to want to make this video to show everybody else how to check and make sure that the speakers are in phase and also to check the polarity. So this is something that I've been doing and I always do. And if you checked any of my install videos, you see that I recommend you check, check, and double check when installing anything to prevent, you know, problems and also having to tear everything back apart and redo it again. But back to the main purpose of this video, checking speaker polarity slash the phase. And what you need to do this is very simple. You know, there might be a few companies out there that get mad at me for this because they are there are devices and things that they sell to figure out these things to use to try to figure out your polarity. But I'm gonna be honest with you guys, all you need is a simple battery. As you can see here, we've got an ultra cheap alkaline battery that's why i said you can check it for a dollar really under a dollar because you get a pack of these for a dollar but like i say how you check it is simple as you can see right there on the top for anybody that don't know the plus sign the positive is the side with the bottom and so that would automatically make the negative the flat side so for anybody that didn't know on your batteries that's the positive and negative how you check your speakers, see if their polarity is correct, connect that to the positive and negative. And when you do so, the speakers will move. If connected properly, when you connect the positive to positive and negative to negative, the speakers will move outward. If connected improperly, the speakers will move in. If they're out of phase, then one will move in and one will move out. If they're in phase, they'll both move the same direction at the same time. And that's how you tell. So, normally you would disconnect your wires at the amp and disconnect your battery directly to the wires and watch your speakers to see how they move. But to prevent from taking all of this stuff out, I'm gonna cheat and do it easy. And what I got to do that is simply probes that they use for multimeters. So I'm gonna stick my red in the positive, my black in the negative. <laughs> Simple. Like so. Positive. Black in the negative. And this is so low voltage that you don't need to necessarily disconnect it from the amp. But you do want to make sure that the amp is not powered on. You say, simple. Positive is the side with the knot. Put the positive to that. Negative is the side without the knot. You push the negative to that. When doing so, you should see the speakers move. Slightly. And speakers are both moving 
now we're together. I'll reposition the camera to so give you a better view. Subwoofers might have been out of phase. No, it was just a camera illusion. 